of YouTube. We're gonna just do uh, cycling the landing gear here. It's gonna be to a count of 10, and then they close back. If you've ever seen a, an Airbus take off, they they close back quite a bit, quite a little bit close, closer when the gear are deployed. But um, I'll take it. I mean, I guess you want to give every opportunity to ensure that the gear had closed. So, and then I'll do an interruption and another interruption. There's been some complaints I've heard about this particular model with the sequencer, and believe me, if you've ever worked with Hobby King, the sequencer is phenomenal. So, we'll see how it works in all practical purposes. And got this rat's nest to straighten out, so anyway. Can't wait to see it fly, guys. Just wanted to give you a quick rundown. Oh, we'll do one more. One more test on the gear. Comes down. And steerable. I figured that would go, go well with that. And just really looks nice we'll give you a close up of this so cool open it up so. yeah there's little five gram servos in there this one's a little more complex as you can see Look at all that crap going on in there. Just strings that loosen when they close. I like that design, keep it simple, stupid, right? I do need to adjust the linkages on that door mechanism there. I just gotta tighten those up and that'll suck the door closed a little bit better so we don't catch wind on this. Um, I may also just heat it and bend the leading edge up a little bit so that as the wind pushes, it will push this gear door flush but just it's, it's gonna be cool to see you guys watching that all happen and the other thing I don't understand why serverless retracts don't allow us to slow them but it would be pretty cool to be able to do this except have the gear come down a little bit slower maybe come down fast still just you know because if you're in a hurry to get on the ground but maybe go up slowly so it's more you know savory for us people who spend hours and hours and hours on toys that we want to look cool. Anyway, guys, keep your eyes open. There's going to be a flight video soon. And um, don't forget to watch out for the flaps. The flaps are going to be awesome. And I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I've seen some guys have done fixed flaps on this particular model, but mine are going to be full functional flaps. And I really want to get flats in there. Keep your eyes out. Thanks, YouTube, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.